Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to a new series. So, do not worry um, if you're seeing this and you're wondering, oh no, why are you doing a new road to when you've got Kylo Ren still to do? Well, the thing is with the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, there's only so much I can do and so much I can show week by week. Uh, we are currently completely done with SLK art in terms of uh, farming, equipment, uh, relics as well. Like We've got everyone done. We've got all the ships. We're just waiting on getting finalizer to five star, which we're waiting for the event to come around. So we've got to wait till what I believe is the 31st of Jan until that series can actually commence again. And even then... We're just going to be doing the different tiers to actually unlock SLKR. So there may be another video coming out next week uh, based off getting finalised to five star, and then also the first goes at the um, at the different tiers to unlock the shards for him. But right now we are actually in a uh, in a little bit of a limbo. So I've 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 wanted to do this for a little while, um, and with everything being saved up for SLKR already. We are going to actually, as you can see on screen now, we're going to start farming the Separatist army. Uh, we're going to get all of them done as well. We are going to focus very much on every member. We want uh, everyone to be at least gear 12 eventually. So what I'll show you now is the, um, is the tier list of what we're going to actually try and push for. We're going to try and get essentially... Um, the droid army uh, and Grievous uh, done first. So any anything in green that you see on screen now, that's what we're kind of aiming for to push first. Uh, the there's a reason why some fact Poggle and Geonosian Soldier are already green, as you'll know if you've already seen previous videos. These are already G12 anyway. I just want to get the bugs all to G12, and I also want to get the spy and uh, the spy to relic five, and I want to get Brood Alpha probably a few more relics higher because he's currently relic three. But on the middle row is the main one. We're going for a Relic 7 Grievous because we want that uh, Malevolent. And I will show you the update on where we're at with that currently. Um, also, this General Grievous. These screenshots you can see behind uh, behind the little Zeta symbol that I've made as well. The Zeta symbol is basically all the all the ones that I need to put onto these tunes to get them complete. So, as you can see, the top row uh, with the Brood Alpha, I've already got both of his Zeta, so I've not put it there. And then the bottom right, what time bought, I've already put a Zeta on him. The reason why he's G11 as well, by the way, is because we're not going to, in this series, we're not going to be able to get him 7-starred to get into G12. So we're just going to max out his equipment, uh, sorry, his gear, uh, so he's as high as he can be and leave him at that ready. So when we do get 7-stars, we will G12 and probably probably even gear 13 because he's useful for like the challenger rank or raid but yeah the middle row anyway that's where we're going to start with so as you can see we've got a grievous we're going to try and take him straight to relic 7 the others i put for now g12 i do want to see how hard this grind is um and potentially uh they might not stay at g12 if this grind comes along quite well we're finding we're getting the equipment ready um we're leveling them up quite well and quite easy because I've looked at some of the equipment for some of these tunes. Asajj Ventress, for example, very easy to get to G12. Uh, probably even quite easy to get to G13. Um, she doesn't even require stun guns, which is mad. Um, some of the others do eat into them though. B2, uh, Magna Guard, and B1 are good examples of who likes a good stun gun. But that middle row team is G12. Uh, if I get Grievous at Relic 7, that will be a very viable team for me in uh, Territory Wars and also my own Grand Arena uh, to use going forward. So I'm starting to build this already because we've got the equipment, we've got everything ready for SLKL, that's all aside. So the focus now is on these lot and getting them ready. Um, on the next screen, you will see I've just put a little update there. So yeah, I'm going to like tick them off when they're done. So like, for example, Sunfat Poggle and Gene Ocean, they're all complete they're what we said we wanted to get them to uh we don't we don't want to put any more investment in them so they're aside now uh we have built another spreadsheet uh, i do love a good spreadsheet and as you can see now we have built the next one so this is the separatist farm and on this farm list we are currently got in red uh, b1 and b2 we're not actively farming them too. B2, I'm actually getting from the guild store. Uh, and he's going up like about 40 to 50 a week at the minute. So I'm just going to finish him up because usually he is a cantina node. Um, but I'm, I'm currently saving up on... Um, Relic material because I want to get Spy and uh, Brood Alpha a little bit higher. So I need to focus on that a little bit more. 
I already have complete Droidica, that's through the SLKR farm, and I also have complete Daka on there. And I Daka and Zombie on there is extras for me. I want um, a couple of extra tombs that I'm just farming on the side, just so I can make a Sarge uh, more viable in 3v3. And also, uh, Daka and Zombie I know do quite well with uh, SLKR. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to farm them on the side anyway. I have the chance now, because my hard no farms are very focused on Vulture and Hyena. Um... But we might as well farm another tune at the side. That will come in handy. So yeah, on that, Dak is complete. Uh, Django Fat we actually just completed in the last few weeks. As you can see, I have been building this at the same time as doing my SLKR. But I never really revealed it because I've been doing a little bit of it on the side and kind of keeping up with it. Yeah, so the main focus on that list though is the Vulture Droid and uh, the Hyena Bomber. Um, especially with me coming close to Malevolence. I need to be ready because the second I unlock Malevolence, I want to climb my fleet arena as quick as possible. Um, there isn't many Malevolences in mind. There's a lot of negotiators, which is good for me because um, Malevolence does very well against them. I want to try and get them at least to five star. Uh, I'm only about 20 shards away roughly from each of them being at five star. Uh, make them a lot more viable, a lot more bulky as well for my... Uh, arena and hopefully we can break into that top five consistently at least I like my goal is kind of get a top five position as much as i can um and try and get that so yeah um i'm gonna flip from that though to this separatist screen so as you can see this is where we're actually up to in terms of farming um geo spy is currently tagged and uh, top left uh we are farming fleet nodes uh for his G12 uh, for his G13 gear, sorry. So we are currently building him while keeping the SLK gear aside. So as you can see, I've got a couple of green pluses, but I'm not using them just yet. Um, we that's the gear for SLKR and it'll be a lot easier to know what we have got and what we haven't got without checking my spreadsheets um, when we do get there but like yeah right now he isn't um, we're building him up basically the other one that I'm really focusing on and trying to get higher is my Asajj Ventress and Count Dooku so Dooku as you can see is gear 10 um, I'm wanting to get him to gear 12 probably a little bit quicker as well So I'm keeping an eye out on him. Um, I've got him modded up correctly. His mods are quite good I've got him modded for potency and speed uh, The speed I will get better as I upgrade the mod slightly uh, the potency is great I think at 117. I've got a little bit of crit damage on there as well yeah, um, I want to be able to do that mission on the territory battles, um, the one where it's Dooku and uh, Asajj as quick as can, because it is about a million points, it really helps out the guild, uh, well I think it's 1.4 actually. But yeah, he's at gear 10 already, goal is gear 12, uh, Asajj I've literally leveled up in the last few days, again I've modded her up already, I always get try and get them to 50. So in terms of mods, I've got an offense set and health set. I've got an extra 83 speed. There is room for improvement there, obviously. But uh, she's got a good damage output overall. Uh, again, if I find better mods, I will upgrade them. I've got a green in there that I can upgrade and or slice, sorry. And we can see where it gets to. So as you can see, the next row, uh, the droids. I've got them all to 50 and I've started modding them up. So droidica, I have modded. Um, I don't know if it's completely correct, but I'm trying to get him with zero speed mods uh, and just pure offense. So as you can see, 2100 damage, 700 boost. So he's, it's about 50% increase on his basic uh, damage that I've got with the mod. So when he's at uh, gear 12, it's going to be ramped up massively. Uh, I'm trying to just gear him for no speed because I've got a. Um, I'm going to try and get a really fast B1 battle droid, and um, that that's the kind of goal. And then get a lot of tenacity on B2 and Magna Guard be as tenacious as possible. So yeah, again, I've got him up to level 50 for now. Just before we start actually grinding all his gear. Uh, 65 speed, just a bit of speed. We've got a load of tenacity there, one in 45% already. A little bit of potency, but that's not too, uh, that's not uh, matter too much with him. B2, though, I feel like I have got like such a great mod set on this already. Uh, I'll show you stats quickly of what he's got. So with the with the mats, uh, with the sorry mats, with the mods that we've got, he's got a 66 speed. It doesn't matter too much about his speed, but he has got a plus 48% potency and tenacity at 48%. Now I have got this actually. I've got this triangle, uh, not triangle, arrow. Sorry, 
and I think it's unreal. So I've got a crit avoidance arrow. It's got a, um, a double roll on potency, a double roll on tenacity, three rolls on speed. So it does have that, and it's got a little bit of defense. Like it's such a good mod for him. Um, and as you can see, I've got two tenacity sets and a potency set. So when I get him higher, he's going to be an absolute monster. Uh, B1, again, I'm working on it. I'm trying to get a speed set and a potency set on him. Uh, it's currently going all right. There's more speed that can be added. He's 78, but I think that's because he is like no gear investment. He isn't that high. Uh, I think I can get that to about 100 with the current set we've got on him. Potency, though, I've got the big boost to 44%. Um, again, uh, we've just got a load of... I'm trying to get offense mods. Uh, well, offense... Uh, secondaries on him so like this speed potency mod i've got it's got a lot of uh, extra offense which is really good um so we're getting the right mods in place the last person to show on the droids though is this bad boy he isn't quite complete but in the last few days we've managed to get him to relic 7 we had it all saved up because we've been saving up for slk on that we've just been saving up the, the uh, cantina nodes for more he uh, and we've put uh, the first zeta on him we put a metalloid monstrosity on him he is ready for the uh, malevolence and we wanted this ready first because he's going to obviously help us boost uh, and get higher i've already put six uh six e mods on him i have got a ridiculous amount of health investment on him i think it's four of the mods are plus 16 percent health plus three sets of health because they're all health mods is about he's, he's literally doubling his health value so he's over 150k he's got a decent little bit of speed as well so i've not forgot about that uh and yeah his damage output is uh, about 6700 we've got another thousand near enough added on there um, he hits like an absolute truck. I've only used him in territory battles so far um, to, in the first few rounds, but he absolutely smashes through people when I've put him in the dark side team. Uh, he will be um, he will be complete soon, though, when we get SLKR done. The next Zeta probably will be going on him to make sure that he's got both of them so it boosts up the levelance as much as possible. So, uh, a little bit lower uh, where we're at with these guys. Obviously, Geo Brood, you know, and seen loads of times before. He's Relic 3. We're just going to probably... He's one of them. I'm going to save up the mats, and then we'll see where we're at. Uh, he might stay at Relic 3 if he, if we can complete the Acclay mission. The whole point of this is, I think, the spy I want for um, my fleet arena. So, uh, it hits a lot harder, and he could probably one-shot a lot more toons. Uh, and then the Geo Brood Alpha as well. Uh, we want to just have a little bit more health and uh, that um, that pool of health that he shares uh, through Hive Mind, and uh, be able to complete the Acclay mission in TB. Um, if I can get just Geo Spy to Relic Three and we can do the Acclay mission, I'll probably leave him at that. But the I'm I'm just for now setting it aside that I'm looking at Relic Five. So yeah, Dooku spoke about Newt Gunray, another one. I've got to Gear Ten at the minute. Um, he's great. Uh, absolutely love him. He gets me defences all the time in Grand Arena. Um, very good tune. We have got some good speed investment. 95 currently. A little bit of potency. Um, yeah, the main thing for him is speed and survivability, I think. And uh, the speed's only going to get ramped up when we do these mods up. We are trying to get every mod at least plus 10 secondary speed, plus a, arrow, uh, a, 30, a plus 30 speed arrow every time. And then Django Fett, um, another one that it, it'll be a great team when we eventually get there. He's gear 8 currently. We've only just got him to 7 star, so we are going to invest in him eventually. His mod set isn't the greatest right now. Uh, only a 59 speed increase. Uh, there's a little bit of tenacity there. I'm sh is that from this? Yeah, it is. Uh, that will get changed up to probably an offense cross uh, when we get more speed. But again, I'm... I haven't really got the speed investment in him yet because uh, he's got green mods on. Some of them, yeah, like this one's rolled twice for speed, which is really good. But these ones, like, he's rolled twice for offense. So I've kept it because the chance of getting speed is still there and we can get it higher. But he has got a good um, a good little arrow on him. Uh, it's got a little bit of offense in there with the speed. And then, yeah, again, everything is just very basic on him at the minute, but he's one of them. As we do our mods up on the other teams, he will become, like, get pushed up the list to do more with anyway. So the last part I need to show you is the fleets. Um, 
as you can see, top left, this is where we're at with Hyena Bomber and Vulture Droid. Uh, we need about 20 shards on each just to get to 5 star next. We are farming them. We're doing a refresh on each a day, so we're double farming essentially. Um, I've completely invested everything in them, so they're ready. Uh, the level 85, they have all the Omega abilities all ticked off. So they are complete, and there is the Vulture Droid. Again, same thing, uh, completely done. Just waiting on, just waiting on the shards really, just trying to get it as, to seven star as quick as possible. So if I go back over here, you will see also that the old Dakar I've got in my list and the Night Sister Zombie because we're doing them up. Night Sister Zombie's coming along really well because of them being double drops now. Night Sister will probably be done in probably the next three to four weeks, I feel. So yeah, I've got one last thing to show you. Um, as you can see in my top right corner, them crystals are all saved up, ready for this finalizer event to get it finally finished. This is how close I am, though, to the malevolence, and it's very frustrating. So I need 1350 to get to. I've currently got 1260 because we are in 140 out of 145. Um, we are going to get there. Uh, maybe not tonight. I think um, we just have the... It's the Acclay mission actually on TV currently. Um, only two people have been able to do it. I can't do it, so I didn't attempt it. I put it into another platoon. Not platoon, sorry. Into a mission so I could get some um, more banners and points for everyone in the guild. But yeah, um, it might not be tomorrow that this gets unlocked. But it definitely will be by the end of the week when the event's over. Uh, we'll, we'll have five star malevolence and then we will make our way up this fleet arena so currently we sit at 30 as you can see we can get higher though but i just tend not to because the rewards are still the same so i just try to do my one a day and um, just get my rewards for it so i can complete it but as you can see in the ranks uh, like there's a finalizer at the top like i could easily uh, probably get through that because he's he's is very similar well what mine will be when i unlock it but as you can see there's negotiators all over seven star five stars a six star uh, grievous um but yeah it's a lot of negotiators and i think we've only seen four five there you go there's five currently five um Five, uh, five malevolences in this top list. So we can push through. Uh, I will be, when I'm there, probably messaging, asking if anyone's like in a, uh, in a, um, like a, what's it called, chat where it's um, the payouts on uh, Discord. So, but yeah, that's where we're at. That's the first episode. Uh, this one, I'll be trying to keep weekly as much as I can because we have got the shard drops. So we will be pushing through for it. Uh, yeah, it's um it's exciting. Separatists are probably my favourite faction out of everyone. Them in the first order are definitely up there. So yeah, uh hopefully this one will last through till the end of March at least, uh, maybe even April, and we can have it all done. And then yeah, we'll start on another grind for something else. But until then, yeah, we'll be working on this. So yeah, so uh, if you did tune in, thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next one.